Hey, hey everybody, Marsha B at Busy B MKT, and today I'm gonna show you all of the treasures I picked up at the Goodwill bins. Uh, I had a buggy full. I only paid $117, and this stack of stuff you see right here is just part of it. So let's just dig in, and I'm just gonna show you real quick what all I picked up during my adventures at the bins. Okay, first of all, he's the cutest. He's so fluffy. Look at that little tail. I could not leave him behind. Don't know what's gonna happen to him, but I couldn't leave him behind. So he is prize number one from the bins. Okay, go up there, puppy. All right, got this bag of thread. Uh, I sew a lot. I sew a lot of costumes. I quilt a lot. And so this will come in very, very handy. Okay, what else? A curling iron. I needed one of these for days when my hair decides to do this instead of curl like it's supposed to. Let's see what else. Oh, hello. A bicycle seat. Uh, I have no idea, but it looked new, so I grabbed it. This was a neat little cap. It says a golfer's prayer on it, and it has a leather strap on the back that still has plastic on it, which means it's never been worn. And embroidery, this embroidery was done in Pennsylvania. So I don't know how in the world this piece got to Texas, but here it is, so I picked that up. Not sure if I'll make anything on that, but I thought it was pretty neat. Okay, uh, let's see what else. I always pick up wooden hangers uh, because I like to display things on wooden hangers. And sometimes they have the names of hotels on them, but I can't, I can't see. It has something there, but I can't see what it is. So I got that. What else, what else, what else? Um, this is Primrose Hill, London. Um, it is a very clean, never been used makeup bag. And I looked these up uh, while I was at the bins and it looked like they were selling between 12 and $14. So I think that was pretty good. I just love the design on there, the little tulips. Okay, boots. So Alan and I went to our local boot store the other day and I was just astonished at how much cowboy boots cost new. So when I found these at the bins, I was really excited. Um, these are Stetson brand. So I don't know much about boots, but Stetson brand, made, handmade in Mexico size seven i guess that's a lady's boot i'm not sure but i actually found the pair which is very very difficult to do at the bins to find a pair of anything so i was happy about those boots okay this is a mystery to me this is a coach purse supposedly uh the tag says coach and inside it has the little label. So I don't know, I need to look up the, um, the little number down here to see if it's authentic. And if it is, that's super good news for me. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm very curious about the coach bag. Uh, all right, we'll see what else. I got these sweet little baby blankets is what they look like because they're only about that big. They are handmade, hand quilted with vintage fabric. And I found, I think three of these. One, two, three of these. And of course, I snatched them up as fast as I could because I just love them. These are crazy quilts too and those are those are not easy to make. Wow, a lot of work went into these guys right here. Okay, I also found this big, beautiful quilt and grabbed that up as well. And then some more textile things. Oh, these were super cute. Look, 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 look. I saw the vintage fabric first and I didn't know what they were, but look, I think they're little aprons for Barbies made out of vintage fabric, which is adorable. The little pockets with the trim on them. So I think there's 
six maybe of these. Look at that. Couldn't pass those up and those don't even weigh, like I didn't even pay a dollar for all those. Um, another little piece of embroidery. Thought that was cute and the flowers are very, very, very detailed on that. So that's why I picked that one up. Uh, let's see, another, this is a beautiful, I think it's cashmere, Angora. <laughs> this is from Ann Taylor. Look at that beautiful sweater. Oh, no stains or anything, no rips or tears. So pretty. Just want to snuggle up with it. I think I got a few more pieces of clothing, but I think I put them in the wash already. And those will more than likely be for me anyway, so. Um, okay. The puzzle with the cereal boxes on it. Thousand pieces. Never been opened. I think that that's pretty nifty. It was purchased at Kmart. So it's vintage, right? Okay. I don't know much about video games, but I do know Nintendo is a pretty big deal. And I think this went with the original Duck Hunt game, but I've noticed on eBay that these sell for pretty good. So I only paid probably a dollar for it. So I figure it's worth a shot. 1985, it has the, it has the date on there, so worth a shot. Okay. Um, this is one of the handcrafted Santas. They're kind of, kind of folky looking handcrafted Santas I found. It does have an artist signature on the bottom and it's dated 1990. So it is vintage. I'll, I'll find his friends in just a second. They're somewhere else in the pile. Um, I like using these things. Um, for storage and I'm working on getting my my shop organized and so I grabbed a couple of these just to have different levels on my shelves those are usually not super cheap at uh, even at Walmart they're not super cheap so I was happy to find those okay what else is sitting here beside me oh my goodness okay these reminded me of the pie house, my cousin Betty Jo's pie house. Found these two enamel um, club is the brand. I found two matching pans, pots, pots, pans, whatever, and their corresponding lids. Those are a little heavy, so I paid a little bit on those, but I was happy to have those and I love that color. Okay, um, let's see, I've got stuff all around me. Where do I go next? Brand new Christmas wrap, Sally Foster, which I've actually heard of that brand of wrapping paper. I don't know why, I think maybe people do fundraisers with that or something, I don't know, but pretty colors and never been used. So, brand new wrapping paper. Um, this frame. I picked up for Esther. It's a very bohemian and she loves purple. Um, so I grabbed that for next to nothing. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Got a lot of stuff right in front of me all around the computer here. Um, a family of owls. One, two, three little owls. So I will be saving these to, um, to sell probably this time next year because they're very fallish, but I thought they were kind of cute little burlapy things. All right, um, this helmet. Uh, looked this up. These are these are selling for for pretty good money right now. Um, so I thought that this would be worth a shot. It does not look like it's been used. It's, I mean, it's a little scuffed up on the top, but. The inside is very, very clean. It doesn't show signs of wear at all. So I'm gonna try my hand at that and see what happens. Okay, found another really neat piece of enamel wear. This is a butter yellow. So it looks really good with my turquoise. <laughs> 
and I loaded this down to put it inside the basket. So I'm gonna pull some stuff out of here. These are two uh, milk glass little mugs or vases. I don't know what you'd use them for, but I found them in two different rooms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two different bins, two different rooms. So that was kind of fun, finding a matching set like that. Brand new roll of tape. This cost $4 at the post office. And I got it for, you know, 25 cents or something. Uh, I couldn't tell if this was old or not, but it's pink. It's hard to tell it's pink up against my red shirt, but I couldn't tell if it was old, but I really liked it a lot. It's got little roses on the bottom, a little ring dish. Found a couple of cookie cutters. This really sweet um, Halloween uh, butter knife, jam knife, whatever, Boston warehouse. Okay, I liked this little rocket. This is for my tree. I just think it's really cute. Okay, so this, I'm gonna lift this up. These are marbles. The marbles that I lost, I found them. No, I'm just playing. These are, they're stone. They're made out of stone. And I have no idea. But they were rolling around in a bin and so I just snatched them all up and put them in my pot. So I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with them, but I know that marbles can can sell for a lot of money, but I don't know about these guys, but we'll see, who knows. Ooh, that one looks very planetary. I like it a lot. Okay, I'm gonna reach down here. This was a camping sleeping mat. Um, it does not look like it's been used very much wrapped up tight. This was um, right at seven pounds, so they charged me right at seven dollars for this guy. So, um, not sure if we'll use it or sell it, but I thought that was a pretty cool thing to find in all of that stuff. Okay, some more puppies. I found a, an original pound puppy. I actually found multiples of them, and this is the only one that made the cut the other ones were kind of funky. So he just brought back a lot of childhood memories for me with the pound puppy. And then <laughs> this guy, and he still sings. Chances are, I wear a silly the moment you come into view. Yo quiero Taco Bell. I'm tempted to keep him because he does look a whole lot like my Henry. But we'll see. We'll see. I also found a Coca-Cola bear. Um, look how sweet he is. I can't believe I'm finding all these Coca-Cola plushies back to back like that, but he's in really, really good condition and he has 1995 on his foot. So you have survived quite a bit, my friend. So hopefully we can find you a good home. Okay, I found little metal pumpkin. I just thought that was kind of unusual. So again, I'm going to save that for next year. It's a list. Everybody needs a gavel. Everyone needs a judge's gavel in their life. This may go in my prop closet at school because that just seems like an important prop piece to own. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, 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 this cute little mixer. This was the one that I found, and when I found it, it looked like that. Didn't have its lid, and then I went digging around, and in a completely other bin, I found its lid. So, felt like it was meant to be. I don't think that this is vintage in any way, but I really thought it was a very, very cute little teapot. So, I got her. I also found these cute little pillows which Henry has already decided to make use of. Isn't it right, Henry? Henry! Henry! Hi, pretty boy. Hi, pretty boy. You look so fancy. All right, more puppies. 
more puppies. This cute little guy still has his tags on him. And Aurora is his brand and he just looked in really good shape. So I picked him up, rescued him from certain doom as did I do this with this sweet little border collie puppy and his brand is Douglas. And I don't know if he has a date on him or not, but he's super soft. No, I'm not seeing a date. It's because you're timeless. You're timeless. I do love a border collie. Okay. Um, got this belt, which was interesting because it said made in New England, USA. And I can't, I can't really tell what the design is on here. Is it a shell? Oh, it's a ship. It's a ship. I just figured it out. Oh, that's pretty neat. So got leather, leather, little strap dealy here. Made in New England. So I thought that was worth the 25 cents I probably paid for that. Another stuffed animal. One more, I think. This is the last one. She is a Boyd's bear with a really cute hat. So I don't know if she had other clothes, but you can tell she's a quality bear. Look how quality she is. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought she's really sweet and I loved her little blossom hat. Cute. Okay, uh, let's see now. Oh, here's a couple of items of clothing I bought. This looked brand new. Thought that was pretty, pretty fun. And this came from Earthbound Trading. It's a little poncho thing. Really, 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 really soft. So I'm gonna see if Esther wants this. If not, I will list that up. All right, um, here's two more of these Santa Clauses. I think he dropped some of his greenery. Santa, hold on to your greenery. So here's these two guys. I just thought they were really funky looking. And uh, this one is signed. I think maybe that one's signed, it's hard to tell. But one, two, and where's your brother? Where did he go? Uh, I don't know. He's somewhere. He's somewhere. <laughs> so there's three of these. So I don't know if I'll sell them separately or sell them together. I think I should sell them separately because Santa should stand alone. Anyway, I've got time to think about it. Okay. And um, this looks like my Henry. It's from Moral Market. I have the cookie jar that matches this. So I may just have to hang on to this one. This cute little flower box, and it's already lined with plastic, so you can put plants in there. Um, and two pictures. Here's this one. And this is made in the USA. Yeah, maybe you can read it. I can't figure out what it says. But it's made in the USA, and I love this, and I have another little cup that matches this. Unfortunately, I did not notice that it had a big ding on its spout. But, you know what I thought would be really nice is to do like a floral arrangement or something out of this guy. Because he looks very fallish, so he's pretty, pretty substantial. So I'm not sure what your future is going to be, buddy. Um, another picture found yellow Tupperware, which sparks joy <laughs> for me. And inside, because I was playing Tetris in my cart, I bought this. Play school. Play school. <laughs> Little sand hourglass. For nostalgia's sake, if nothing else. For nostalgia's sake. Okay, I think I'm getting to the end of my pile. Um, this, this little guy, I kind of had a baby heart attack when I saw him. Um, he is, I don't know how to, I don't know how to pronounce this Italian brand and I'm not going to butcher it, but I know that he's fancy, 
but I'm like, why is he stretching and petting his invisible pet? Um, so I had to look it up and he's supposed to have a little train right here. So the train is missing, but what's crazy is all of his fingers are there. All of, like he is in pristine, perfect condition, except his little train is gone. So I'm just, <laughs> that breaks my heart a little bit because he's just, he's perfect, except he's missing his toy. So uh, I may just list him as is and see, maybe, maybe somebody has the train and is missing the boy and can bring them together. Or maybe they can put something else like a little, little puppy or something. <laughs> I'm just there. I don't know. People are creative, but I couldn't leave him behind in the bins because if I left him one minute longer, all of his little fingers, I'm sure would have broken off. In fact, I'm surprised it didn't break off in that frenzy with everybody throwing stuff. But you're a survivor. You're a survivor. Okay, Um, I did get the Pizza Hut hat. I'm going to clean it up. Uh, it's just iconic. So, got it. It's worth a shot. Now, the one item that I picked up that surprised me the most when I was looking up comps on it was this ball cap right here. And it is Garth Brooks Ropin the Wind. And it's in extremely good condition. Um, does not look like it has been worn. And the thing is, these are being listed between 40 and 50 dollars online right now. So thank you, Garth Brooks, for being so awesome that you're gonna help me make some money. He was this was buried under a ton of clothes, and I just was digging around and all of a sudden it just popped up, and so I thought, huh, Garth Brooks. We'll see. And then I looked at him and was like, Garth Brooks. Thanks, buddy. All right, I believe that that is my haul. I think that that's all of it. And now I have to find a place for all of this to live until I get it listed and sold. So I've got my work cut out for me, but all of that for $117. Um, not too shabby, not too shabby. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.